The first child we will see is Julia. With Julia being at four, four months, four and a half months old, because she's an infant, we want to make sure she's comfortable and positioned well. And typically, uh, I'll have moms or dads or a family member hold the infant and make sure they're positioned upright so they're stable. If they're unstable, it's harder for them to use their vision. Just like a child who has multiple disabilities or has a motor impairment, positioning is going to be crucial to allow them to use their vision. Also, to get engagement, uh, they're very social, and so I might try, what I'll probably do is start trying to engage her with my face, making sounds, making faces, and try to get that initial interaction between the infant and myself, as opposed to coming in with a light or coming in with the object. And I think that's really important to remember with young infants. What are you doing? What are you doing? Yeah, I know. I know. Yeah, I got your hand. You got your hand. Yeah. So with a little one, I usually just use my face for the tracking, you know, because they're, they're more into their own face and for people's faces and their own body parts, too. So, oh, you got my hand. Yeah. <gasps> what is that? What is that? Wow, pretty good. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Whoops, there it went. And at four and a half months, we wouldn't expect convergence yet. So let's see what you do. Here it comes. Oh, what was that? What was that? Boom. What was that? Yeah, and for the pupillary response, instead of shining something in her eyes, I would just block her eyes and then have the light, just the natural light. Yeah, you can do that with just the natural light. You're already constricted from that bright light, aren't you? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Yeah, I know. Are those your feet? Are those your feet? Huh? What is that? Very good. Look at that. Nice. Very nice. Yeah, it's very nice. Very nice. There's those feet. Good-natured. Peekaboo. Oh, so you want to get out? You got she your. Wants to sit up. You want to sit up? Is that what you're trying to do? Yeah, I'm trying to sit up. Yeah, I'm trying to sit up. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. See, I'm trying to sit up. What else you got to say? What else you got to say? Okay. She needs it. You want to sit her up? Oh, yes, I know. I know. Whew. Bless you. Yes. Are you going to sit up? What a lucky baby. Yay. Yay. Oh, she's beautiful. Hey, there you are. There you are. Wow, look at that. Has Mama been working you out, huh? Huh? Mama's been working. Look at that. I don't know. I think 
we got every just about everything we need. Yeah, I think we got everything we need. Yeah. <gasps> Look at that, such a big girl. There's mama. There's mama. There's mama. There we go. That's good. It shows that, you know, still the eyes at this age, you wouldn't expect the eyes to be, you know, working together well until she's about six months. So that shows a good demonstration that one little eye turning in. But that's just typical. So I haven't gotten it all together yet, huh? Yeah? Oh, I know. Well, I think that's it. We looked at, um, yes, hi. We looked at um, responding to the light. We wouldn't expect her eyes to be lined up, and actually you can see the light. Let me see what she looks like with the light in her eyes. Oh, I know, I know. Oh, yeah. Do you need, mama? Do you need a mommy break? Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh. There. Is that better? Is that better? Huh? We'll do one more thing. I hope it's okay. Okay? Yeah, I know. We can be done. We can be done. What is that? It's like, oh, that's so bright. I'm so sorry. He's that so bright? Okay, we can be done. My goodness. My goodness, that's so nice. Is that, oh. Who is that? Where'd it go? Yes, what a sweet girl. Okay. Oh. Okay, you want to do peekaboo? Say, you ready? One, two, three. Peekaboo. There you are. I saw it. Ready? Ready? One, two, three. Peekaboo! Oh, oh, oh! Julia is four and a half months old, and so because she's younger than six months, there's a couple things that we wouldn't be expecting her to exhibit. One is at that age, we're not expecting children to have full convergence, meaning that when I brought an object close to her nose, I really wasn't expecting to see her eyes come in evenly to watch that. That is, you don't usually see that behavior until six months and older. So even though she wasn't showing us convergence, that's very age appropriate. Another thing with Julia is in the early items of blinking to light and looking at how she responds to light, that's very aversive to some children, especially with infants. And I don't like to usually shine a bright light in their eyes. So with her, to look at pupillary response, I played a peekaboo game. And I was able to cover her eyes and try to see if I could get, you know, long enough for her to have the eyes become accustomed to being in a dark area, then take my hand away to see if the natural light in the room would be enough to see if we had a pupillary response where the pupil got smaller because of the light. And that did work. So that was a, a, that was a nice way of testing that behavior. By six months, she wouldn't have the behaviors we would, we would be expecting by six month, months of age. So on the vision screening, we would look at the behavior observations by three months of age to make sure she exhibited all those. Um, she looks at someone's face and tracks with head and eyes together. And I, usually with young infants, I do use my face. Children who are that young are more interested in faces, their own body, than objects. And mom was close by. A lot of times moms need to hold babies because sometimes they're uncomfortable uh, in an unfamiliar place unless you're in their home testing them. So she was able to track. And if you notice when I was moving my head, she had to move her head and eyes together, which is really age appropriate. We wouldn't expect her to be able to isolate her eyes from her head yet. Um, she smiles at others. I checked with mom. She did give me a smile, a brief smile. Um, and watch his own hands is another behavior that you see in young infants. When they first discover they have hands and they will continue to look at them and be amazed at those that's part of their body. Probably at four and a half months, she's already moved through that. Uh, but she did ex show all the typical uh, observations or behaviors that I would expect in a child her age. 
When I was working with Julie, I noticed that on her left, I believe, there was a little crusting, uh, and it seemed that there was, you know, something going on with the tear duct. And after talking to her mom after the evaluation, we found out that she does have a tear duct that is blocked, and she's been working with her pediatrician to work on that. So that's what we were seeing in that left eye.